I think we are being short-sighted, and I think we are being egotistical if we think we can stop the uh, invasion of Asian carp into the Great Lakes. What effect will that have? I don't know. Probably not good. I say probably because, you know, we've had invaders here before. Zebra mussels were supposed to wipe out the Great Lakes fishery, and they did not. In many cases, they improve the fishing. Now, I'm not equating Asian carp with zebra mussels, but I'm saying that the sky, many people say the sky is falling because of Asian carp. I I, I don't know that. Will, Will their impact be good? Probably not. Will it decimate our Great Lakes salmon and trout fishery? Well, probably not. Will they have a bigger impact on our tributaries and many of our shallow areas like Saginaw Bay, Lake Erie, the uh, Saginaw Valley uh, watershed rivers? Probably. That's the places where they will probably, uh, those are the places they will probably make themselves known. But we have something good working in our favor now. The federal government. They are going to protect us from Asian carp just as they have protected us from so many other things. And I don't want to get off on a tangent, but I'm biting my tongue here now. How can we expect people who cannot control their spending to control the Asian carp? Please, people in Washington, from the president on down, not that I expect him to be hearing this broadcast, but get a grip on things, would you, please? You are threatening our entire lifestyle, our entire way of life, because you idiots are so power-hungry and irresponsible that you won't listen to the people of this country and of this state to reign in your ways. Knock it off before you destroy our country and destroy our way of life. Now, how I got to that from Asian Carp, (laughs) I'm not quite sure. (laughs) I guess sometimes there's just something on your mind and you got to say it.